What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a, another update video, I would say. One is I did pick up new wheels for the car, kind of, and I did a lot more work on the t 6 Unfortunately, I didn't film me doing the work that I'm about to show you because of, one is it's been really, really hot. Two is this place has no ventilation. And I feel like these installs are very, very simple, minus probably, let's just say the roof wrap. But boom, here's how the car currently sits. Uh, focus. I don't know if you guys can see any changes, but minus the tires needing tire shine, and I finished wrapping this side also with uh, black vinyl, so it is chrome deleted. Now, if we go to the rear, you guys can see that I put the your arch trunk on. The older one is right over here. Very very simple. I mean, it's just four bolts. And then since the your arch trunk did come with a different harness, which is this one, I had to get the was I had to swap this harness into that one because on the JDM one or the EDM one, whatever, it's on the right side since the driver side is on the right, and I'm assuming for the cable uh, for the latch. So this one didn't work because it was on the opposite side. Uh, when I got that one, I had to put the USCM one on, and I just pulled the tail lights off. That's it. This trunk is going to be sent to the junkyard. Not really the junkyard. I'm just throwing the trash. That thing has a lot of dents in it. It's not the best versus this one. It's a lot cleaner. The inner tail is not cracked anymore, which is good. And it's, I left the badge on, even though it's kind of, you know. And I did give it a good uh, paint correction um, earlier, or not earlier. Last time it was not the greatest, but I gave it a paint correction. Not the best, I ain't the best, okay? I, I'm i not a really good you know, detail person, as in, especially like when it comes to like paint correcting. But if you guys also noticed, I picked up a Mugen duckbill. I think on the next video, I will have a video of me with it off because I need to polish underneath it because I only polish this in the top of this, but I also want to do underneath this and also put adhesive on it. Right now, it's only bolted on by two bolts. On the authentic ones that you guys find, especially on the high-rise spoiler and on these, they use they uh, use the factory bolt holes. So when you pull the trunk up, there is, actually here, let me show you on this one, because this one's a clean canvas. You can kind of see, um, let's see. You guys see that little hole right there? This guy right here? This is the hole that you use. Um, and then there should be another one somewhere right here, but this is the hole, it's already marked. So all you do is get like a, uh, a center punch to punch where you want to drill, or if you want to just drill it out, and then drill it out, put the wing on, and the 10 mil bolts that come with it, or any 10 mil bolts right up. It just lines up perfectly and it sits super flush. And if any of you guys get the duck bill, Make sure to switch out to H badge because on the real ones, they're cut out for an H. They're not meant, or they're not cut out for like an A. The fake ones, some of the fake ones come with A's, some of the fake, or and some of the fake ones come with H's. But on the real ones, they always come with the H badge, so you have to put an H badge on it with the cord. And if you want the Euro R, one way to tell if these are real is that the real ones are ABS plastic. The fake ones are fiberglass. I know some of the fake ones are ABS plastic also. But what's a dead giveaway is, well, when I pull this off and show you guys on the underside of it, I can show you, but also the thickness of this. The thickness of this on the real ones is a lot thicker versus the fake ones. Um, the fake ones, they don't have no like width to them. I'll pull it off. I didn't make a video of me installing this. I know I should have, but like I said, it's been hot and right now I, I'm starting to sweat. I've only been in it for like five minutes since I started filming this video. But I need to figure out the ventilation process or ventilation like, issue in here because there's no ventilation so if any of you guys know like good ac or something portable or a fan like i have a fan here i don't have it on right now because it makes a lot of noise but if anyone knows a good portable ac unit especially for a garage like this i can suck out all the hot air and make it cold drop it down in the link or send me a dm with it because i need to buy one because me working on the garage in here for long periods of time is not worth it or not worth it it's not it's not good it's just so hot and another update in the garage I mounted up the Nobori flags, the pretty much the same ones I had in SD. So, got Joey Lee, The Chronicles, uh, Hybrid Racing, thank you David, Koya Rai with Scott, Christian with Battlecraft, and John with OEM Plus.us. So, yep. Uh, but that's all I have. 
nothing new here. There's some trash down here. Uh, tail lights. The, oh, this is the cracked one that I need to get rid of. I need to get to the wiper cowl, but I'm waiting on putting the wiper cowl in the new hinges because I need a new hood. So I'm on the hunt right now for a good deal on a, actually like an OEM hood that's this color, the carbon gray. Or if anything, if I can find a good deal on a carbon hood, OEM style, then I will do that. I have a new girl coming, and if you guys know, I got the Mugen girl. So this looks exactly like my white TSX, as in we're talking about the Mugen duckbill and the Mugen grill. So I picked up a Mugen grill, Chris, with Type 3 Auto Shop up in Oakland when he was down here to pick up the side skirts. He actually found me the grill up there, but he doesn't come down in a week or so, so he's gonna bring it down for me, and he's actually gonna get a color match for me too. So huge shout out to you, Chris. I really appreciate it. Good guy, so he's gonna bring that girl down for me. So that's one thing to get, you know, kind of situated on the front end. I'm not a fan of the chrome grill, unless the car's all stock, you know. Grill is coming, I mean not grill, hood's coming. Like I said, waiting for a good deal. New headlights coming, CO9. We're gonna do the CO9 headlights, not the CO7. CO7 is pretty much like this. CO9 is exactly like my white one. It has that blue um, lens right here and this looks so much better. So that's coming. Whopper cow, got a new one there. Hood hinge, got a new one there. Oh, forgot. I wrapped the roof black. Now, uh, I need to get new trims of this, but I think what I'm gonna do is buy new trim from Acura and then when I do the windshield replacement, I have him replace the whole thing because the windshield is cracked on that side. But yeah, I wrapped the roof. I didn't film the process on this, but it was very, very easy. Since my car had a lot of paint cancer, how I did it is by sanding the whole roof down with 180 grit. You could go to Home Depot and find these uh, everywhere. Uh, let me see. This guy right here. Oh, I don't know why I put it in my car. This, this is 180 grit. I literally use both sides, but you could just get by by doing one side. I roughed up the roof because if I laid the vinyl without scuffing up the roof or like cleaning it, the adhesive on the vinyl will not stick. You're gonna have a hard time, your life is gonna be miserable. So make sure before you wrap your roof, you sand it down, especially my, if yours has paint cancer like mine, sand it down and then voila. Lays on super easy. I didn't have no trouble putting this thing on. Anyone can do it. You could pay a shop four or five hundred dollars to put a black roof wrap on when you could do it yourself. And I pulled off the antenna from the inside, so I did have to drop the headliner from the back, pulled it off, and wrap that too. But look how much better it looks. Look at this. I know the paint's still not in the best condition, but from when I first got the car, the roof was messed up, right? The trunk was buff, not buff, boof, right? It was bad, like, look at this. Look at this. So my roof was like that, but a lot worse. Um, but, don't mind the trunk. That's, yep. So yeah, like, look at this. The car is pretty much like, coming back to life, paint-wise. It has dents here and there, I'll get a PDR. But look at this, the, tr the trunk's good, the roof. I kind of wish I found the same color as my car, but I'll probably look into that later on, but boom. I spent $40, oh no, yeah, $40 on 3M uh, roof wrap. I did a four by five sheet on a T-Sex, especially if you go with 3M or any good brand like Avery, if you heat it up with a heat gun, you can actually stretch it. So if it's smaller, you can stretch it over and it'd be solid. And these have air release pockets. When you have a little bubble here, you legit could just push it down with your finger and the bubble will go away. So go with 3M Avery, but 3M has always been good to me. That's how I did my other cars. And I actually did wax it too, because it wasn't as smooth, but after I applied it and then put some wax on it, nice and smooth. Now water beats off of it when it's raining or when I get a car wash. Uh, all right, let's get into the house because it's hot, but yeah, that's that. So we're in the house, we got the AC running. If you guys don't have a nest. This is the best thing ever, but yeah. Here are the wheels I picked up. Uh, I actually picked these up yesterday because my friend wanted them, but I ended up just, I guess, picking them up for myself. They are C20 SL 70 by 9 45, of course, five lug. Nah, I'm just kidding, they're not C20s. 
It came in C20 boxes, but <laughs> you guys would probably find this funny. So, voila. All four, of course. And boom. <laughs> Another set of RE30s. So, these are 17 by 9 plus 40. So, the only difference between the ones on my T-Sex and these is these are 5 millimeters uh, difference. That's it. Mine's a 35 offset. This is a 40 offset. So, this does sit 5 millimeters more in. The other difference is, of course, the color. These are not the original finish. This is um, some type of, like, gunmetal or, like, gray. It's hard, uh, it's hard to, like, distinguish, but... This is not powder coat, this is actually professionally painted. And whenever I say that, especially on forged wheels, you wanna paint them. If you bake them with powder coating, it weakens the, pretty much the metal the, or the wheel. A lot of people say that there's no difference, but if you think about it, I'm not sure if I'm right, you know, I'm not no you know, engineer in the wheel industry, whatever. But forged wheels go through a high heat baking process. So if you throw them back in the oven with powder coat, you're kind of weakening the metal, and that's why if you guys seen online a lot of like TEs or CEs or even the Regas too, uh, those go Regas, um, they crack a lot on the inner barrels or even on the spokes because people tend to power cut the wheels and it weakens the wheel. But these are painted, 17 by 9 plus 40, got off four, and yeah, they came in these C20 boxes. And the other two in here, but you can see that I taped it up because I sold them, so I haven't had these wheels for less than 12 hours. I had these for less than 12 hours. I posted up, uh, you know, in my, on my Instagram, RE30s, Volk RE30s. So I had two sets, and then someone was like, hey, would you sell them? I'm like, sure, how much? They're like, I'll give you that. So I'm like, okay. Well, actually, it went. It started off like that, and then I ended up making a listing, and it sold within literally an hour. So these are actually going to Houston. Uh, well, not to Houston, but his name is Houston. I'm in Tennessee, and he actually knows my buddy Eli Tacker, so, or Tucker? Tacker? I'm, I'm so sorry. I think Eli Tacker, but uh, he runs Run Heart Industries. He actually provided us uh, with, um, what is it, um, ground and power cables, starter cables for my brother's K-Swap and also for my EK Hatch. So, yep, small world. He knows him. And, yep, these are going to Tennessee. I am dropping them off tomorrow. The labels are already created, but nice wheels. You can't really, um find these like clean these have no curve no rash it just has nicks here and there like the pain stuff but if i'm correct volk actually discontinued these so you could still buy them new i think but they are discontinued now um i don't know for how long and i don't know if i'm 100 percent correct but yeah these are really light i think these are like for 17s these are probably I think like 17 or 18 pounds each. You know what? Let me go get a scale. I have the wheel here. Nines. Scale. Uh, let me just put my foot on so, just so I could set up the sensor. Grab these. Put them on. Oh wait. And then it should blink when it's... Alright, it's blinked. 16.4 pounds. Now, you guys don't know. 16.4 pounds on a 17 inch wheel, especially by 9. That's pretty damn light. I think the new Regas, the 16x8 is already like 14 or 15 pounds. So these are light for the 17s. And yeah, even with tires like on mine with the 255s, these are super light. Let me just do it again just in case I like scuff this thing up. I feel like this should be 17. Let me see. No, they are 16.4 pounds. These things are light. You like them? Don't lick them, they're dirty. Hey, 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 hey. I just took them to the vet. Uh, got them some medication, but, yep. And, yeah, there's four in here, all the same color. But, I think that's it for this video. Next video, I'm gonna be polishing the car. Uh, I need to pull the wing off, uh, put some adhesive so I can stick it on. I'm not sure if I wanna do that though, but I feel like it's best. Right now, I just held, held on by the two 10 millimeter bolts and I mean, it's solid. But I'd rather get the tape on and um, yeah if you guys want to see videos of me like hoarding parts as in like getting new parts because I used to do that back then on the hash like show you guys rock it and then you know kind of get rid of it but if anyone has an RBC manifold or RRC manifold Honda Flash Pro for t sex and a 0708 Magna t sex ECU let me know uh, hit me up in the DMs I'm looking for one and I'm trying to 
get rid of all this lag issues, especially on the T Sax. So keep the guys don't see others and just keep building. Goodbye.